Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Are you using ePlan Pro Panel to design your industrial control panels? Then you may came across the question, what is the most efficient way to place auxiliary components? In today's video, we will cover this subject. All right, we are here in the ESS sample project on the mounting panel and would like now to complete our placement. We know here a couple of circuit breakers are missing, right? So if I zoom in this area, we know we could, for instance, use the 3D mounting layout navigator to place our components. And here are some circuit breakers missing, as I mentioned. And typically we will probably go ahead and select one component place the circuit breaker, select another component, place the circuit breaker. And at some point, right, we will have to place the auxiliary switch, right? So for instance, now the next component is the auxiliary switch and the auxiliary switch fits on our circuit breaker, right? So we will go here and see the green point is the mounting point of the circuit breaker. And then we will place this component and then continue with our placement of the circuit breakers and auxiliary switches. Here, the same thing. The green point is the mounting point and we're placing this and then we are complete. In general, it's a very fast way to utilizing the ePlan Pro panel software, but you may came across the question, is there an easier way to place the auxiliary switches, right? So let's take a look. For instance, if I will delete those components and do the placement again. How about if I select everything at the same time, drag and drop, place them, and have the software automatically align the auxiliary switches on the respective circuit breakers. If you want to achieve this, you need to know two things. The first thing is the auxiliary switch handle point needs to be paired with the circuit breaker. What do I mean with this? So I have here another layout space where I have prepared the circuit breaker and the auxiliary switch. If we, for instance, activate mounting aid, you will see around the circuit breaker, you have a lot of green points, so-called mounting points. The auxiliary switch, on the other hand, has nine blue points here around the placement area, which are the handle points and one orange point, which is the user-defined handle point. So when you do the placement of auxiliary components, the software will take the handle point and on the respective placement area, place this component on a mounting point or a mounting surface or mounting grid. So in this case, by default, if you create components and I want to now place this, you, you see you can place this auxiliary contact on any of those mounting points, right? But that's not what we want, right? We want to place this auxiliary switch only on one of the mounting points, right? And how to do this? For this, when you create the macro of the auxiliary switch, you need to select the handle point. The second tab is logic. And here you see the default setting is all the mounting points permitted. That means you are defining that the handle can be attracted to all mounting points as you saw what I just did before. If you now deactivate this and select only the one point which you would like to use, then we will see what happens afterwards. So here I will need to figure out what the right mounting point is. So in my project, there were a lot of mounting points. This one is the one which we are looking for. Now I'm selecting this using the move the right functionality. And you see assigned mounting points. That means now the auxiliary switch can be only attracted to this mounting point. Let's take a look now. If I now place these components and hover over the other mounting points, you see the software ignores them, right? 
it stays like the regular placement and on this particular one where we would like to place it it's attracted okay so that's the first thing when you create the macros you need to pair the handle point of the auxiliary switch with the mounting point of the main component the second thing what you need to know is when you define the components that the main component and the auxiliary switch need to have the same device stack right so that means for instance if i go here now on the tree view and deactivate this um, filter you see if i synchronize selection the main component and the auxiliary switch have the same device stack right and this works for any main component uh, auxiliary uh, or main component accessory relationship right regardless if it's here a circuit breaker and the uh, auxiliary switch for instance if you have here the, a contactor and auxiliary switch it's the same thing right if i go here to synchronize selection you will see again contactor and auxiliary block have the same device tag same thing will be on the door if we for instance select the sorry select the door here same thing will be the ratio here between pilot light the second you see here the pilot light the holder and the led module have the same device stack here right so those two things are important for you if you would like to place multiple components at the same time this wraps up today's ePlan essentials video if you find the content beneficial please make sure to like it subscribe to the channel and share in your community we are approaching the 1000 subscriber mark on youtube we do have a special content planned for the 1000 mark celebration so please help us to achieve this milestone sooner until the next time uncle kruno signed out